ATP Bio's acceleration of biopreservation technology rests on the exceptional equipment and facilities at the center's four core institutions. The University of Minnesota, Massachusetts General Hospital, the University of California Berkeley, and the University of California Riverside. The University of Minnesota is the country's largest land-grant university with an annual research budget exceeding $900 million. Millions of these research dollars reflect partnerships with companies in the Twin Cities, which is one of the largest biomedical industry hubs in the U.S. Cell, tissue, and organ preservation and analysis at the university will be carried out at labs and facilities spanning the medical school and the College of Science and Engineering. These labs include units for animal surgery, cellular evaluation, and specialized tissue measurement systems. The Bischoff and Hubble Labs have world-class cryopreservation equipment. The Bischoff Lab also houses custom radiofrequency-based coils for rapid nano-warming. Cellular research will also be conducted at the Bio Nano Lab in the Minnesota Nano Center, an NSF NNCI facility. The unique Visible Heart Lab will be used for large organ perfusion and analysis. These labs will be complemented by two outstanding resources. The first is the Center for Magnetic Resonance Research, which contains the most advanced collection of MR instruments in the country. The second is the NSF-supported characterization facility, which boasts top-of-the-line electron microscopes, X-ray diffraction equipment, and over 40 other specialized preparatory and characterization instruments. For zebrafish preservation and warming, the Bischoff Lab will use its custom laser nano-warming system, which is also being used for warming cryopreserved pancreatic islets and fruit fly embryos. The University Zebrafish Core Facility will develop and supply multiple zebrafish strains for the center. Nanoparticle development will take place in the labs of Beth Stadler, Rhonda Franklin, and John Bischoff. The world-class nanofabrication facilities at the Minnesota Nano Center will also be used, and some analysis will be carried out at the Center for Magnetic Resonance Research. Development of high-throughput 3D bioprinting technologies will take place in the McAlpine Lab. This and other work will be supported by the extensive 3D printing facilities at the Visible Heart Lab. The lab of Chris Hogan will work in conjunction with the Hubble Lab and other ATP Bio Labs to develop and evaluate new, low toxicity and easy to control cryoprotective agents. The Institute for Engineering and Medicine at the University of Minnesota is providing over 700 square feet of space for ATP Bio's administrative offices. The office is centrally located in the Mayo Building. Each ATP Bio Lab at the University of Minnesota is within a five minute walk of this building. Located at the banks of Charles River, Massachusetts General is the third oldest general hospital in the U.S. and home to many historic advances, like the first use of anesthesia in a surgery. Mass General is the teaching hospital of Harvard Medical School, with research expenditures exceeding $950 million each year. Mass General Center for Engineering and Medicine, or CEM, was established in 1995. It has grown to 21 faculty and 25,000 square feet of space over locations in Boston and Charlestown. The CEM houses hundreds of labs, core service areas, and offices. The BioMEMS Resource Center at the CEM is a unique set of facilities in Charlestown. These facilities fuel innovation and translation in basic and applied science that include groundbreaking microphysiological test beds, diagnostic tools, and biomedical devices. The CEM has developed key technologies for advancing the use and preservation of MPS and other microsystems. With QTOF and CYTOF technologies, CEM has highly advanced mass spectrometry labs. The state-of-the-art tissue culture environment at the CEM is the birthplace of many inventions and cutting-edge test beds. Access to novel small and large animal models and in-house animal facilities have enabled CEM to develop some of the most recent innovations and advances in tissue and organ preservation. The CEM and the Cell Resource Core house some of the most advanced and automated tools in thermal handling and processing. These facilities have driven a tradition of unique advances in biopreservation. The unique combination of innovative supercooling with organ perfusion technologies has now enabled CEM researchers to triple the preservation time for human livers.
The CEM also houses cutting-edge whole organism and MPS test beds. Zebrafish models show successful cryopreservation of whole organs. MPS test beds have been a part of the CEM since the early 90s. These facilities and resources are part of what makes Massachusetts General Hospital the number one research hospital in the country and a vital partner in the development of biopreservation technologies. The University of California, Berkeley is one of the foremost research universities in the nation. Each year, the university oversees hundreds of millions of dollars in healthcare and biomedical engineering research. Berkeley researchers have access to resources in the number two biomedical hub in the U.S., including hundreds of venture capital firms that specialize in biomedical commercialization. The Healy Lab at Berkeley brings together microchip technology and cellular engineering to create and study microphysiological systems or organs on a chip. The Healy Lab includes world-class cell culture and characterization equipment along with advanced microscopy facilities. Development of chips for microphysiological systems will also take place in Berkeley's Class 1000 Marvel Nanofabrication Laboratory. The Rubinsky Lab has pioneered isochoric biopreservation, which manipulates pressure along with temperature to control ice formation. The lab uses custom equipment to preserve and monitor small biological samples. The Dames Lab at Berkeley will continue to use and develop new microsensors to analyze tissues, organ slices, and other biological samples. Research at Berkeley will also use several other world-class facilities for developing advanced biopreservation and analysis on cells and tissues. The University of California, Riverside is one of the premier public research and educational institutions in Southern California. It's home to the Marlin and Rosemary Burns College of Engineering, which is a top school for graduating women and underrepresented minorities with undergraduate and advanced engineering degrees. The lab of Guillermo Aguilar specializes in laser development for a wide variety of applications. The lab includes several custom laser and optical systems, cell and tissue preparation equipment, and high-speed imaging systems. Nanoparticle development at UC Riverside will combine several resources. Nanoparticles will be prepared in the labs of Yadong Yin and Lorenzo Mangalini. These labs will also use equipment at the university's Center for Nanoscale Science and Engineering. Nanoparticle characterization will take place in the Yin and Mangalini labs and at the university's central facility for microscopy and microanalysis. This facility contains high-end electron microscopes, XRD systems, and other characterization equipment. Researchers at UC Riverside will have access to the new multidisciplinary research building and these other resources. The facilities and equipment of these four universities are the foundation of ATP Bio's plan to make huge advances in biopreservation technology.